be Chris Ramos handling. The oh, okay, great. Hey, Chris. Keep on. Okay, good. But I got the YouTube screen up, so I can't see everybody right now. Richard, did you get my chat? Welcome to the 1A6 District Court. Court is in session. This is cause number 2020, CR 1769, State of Texas versus Lawrence Hamoud. We're here today for a plea. We're conducting this hearing by video conference using the Zoom application. We are also using YouTube to live stream the proceedings to keep the hearing public. Time now is 1124 a.m. on the 27th day of July 2021. These proceedings are official, they're on the record, and they're being recorded by the official court reporter. <laughs> Counsel and all present are instructed to act as though you were in court, and all are instructed not to record the proceedings. Yeah. We could have the attorneys yeah. make appearances, yeah. starting with the state of Texas. <laughs> Chris Ramos for the state of Texas. Pat Montgomery for the defendant, Lawrence Hamoud. <laughs> sir, are you the same Lawrence Hamoud charged by indictment with burglary of a habitation? Is that you, sir? Yes, Your Honor. In state, are we proceeding as charged? No, sir. The state is going to waive count one, the burglary. State is going to proceed on count two and reduce that from choking to assault bodily injury, a class A misdemeanor. And we're going to waive all habitual counts. And, and that is also going to be a, uh, a lesser included. Is that going to be assault bodily injury a family member? Yes, sir. Specifically a dating person, yeah, sir. dating relationship. All right. Thank you. All right, Mr. Hamoud, I'm going to use a function of Zoom called share screen. I'm going to show you the indictment in your case. Let me scroll through because it's two pages. Are you familiar with this document, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Did you go over this with your attorney? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do we waive reading of the indictment? We do, Judge. I'm going to get out of share screen. I'll note that there is... The discovery acknowledgement has been signed and dated by both sides. I'm doing the same and I make it a part of the record. And then Mr. Uh, Hamoud, I'm going to run back into share screen again. I'm going to show you some more documents. You should see on your screen a document called the defendant's consent to plea by video conference. Scrolling down to electronic signature, I'm using my cursor circle around. Is this your signature, sir? Yes, Your Honor, it is. By signing this, you're telling me two things. One is that you understand normally we do pleas live and in court, but that you are consenting to do this plea by video conference. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, Your Honor. Secondly, your electronic signature here, as well as all of your other electronic signatures in the plea pack in front of me today, you're telling me that those are valid as if you personally signed them. Did you understand that when you signed this document? Yes, Your Honor. I approve the consent and I make it a part of the record. We're still on share screen, but now I'm showing you a document called the court's admonishments. I'm scrolling through for you. There's several pages, but at the bottom of, well, are you familiar with this document? Yes, Your Honor. Go over this with your attorney. Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand it? Yes, I understand it. At the bottom of page three is electronic signatures. It's yours. Yes, sir. I'm going to get out of share screen. By signing the court's admonishments, you're telling me that you understand the court's admonishments, that you understand the rights that are contained within it. Is that true? Yes, sir. And that you want to give up those rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the rights that you're giving up is you have the right to a trial by jury. You have a right to confront the witnesses against you. You also have the right to remain silent, which includes the right not to incriminate yourself and not plead today. Did you understand that when you signed this? Yes, Your Honor. By signing this, you're also telling me you understand the consequences of a plea in the sentencing range for count two, lesser included offense of assault, bodily injury of a family member or household member, which is anywhere from up to a year in the Bear County Jail and up to a $4,000 fine. Did you understand that before you sign this? Yes, sir. If I make an affirmative finding of family violence on a misdemeanor case, then you lose your Second Amendment rights where you no longer permitted to possess firearms or ammunition. Did you understand that before you signed the court's admonishments? Yes, Your Honor. To approve the waivers that are contained within the court's admonishments, I make them a part of the record. No. Sir, we're gonna go back to share screen. I'm gonna show you the plea bargain in your case. And are you familiar with this document? Yes, sir. Did you go over this with your attorney? I did, yes. Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. 
There's an electronic signature to the left. I'm using my cursor to circle around. There's another one to the right. I'm using my cursor to circle around. Are, you your, are these your two signatures? Yes, sir. This document details for me your agreement with the state as far as punishment is concerned, and I will let you know if you want to follow this prior to the entry of your plea. First says that count two will be reduced down to assault bodily injury of a family member, household member. Punishment will be with one year in the county jail with a $100 fine. There's no application for community supervision or deferred adjudication. There will be an affirmative finding of family violence. And one of your signatures, the one off to the left, that waives your appeal. Is that your understanding of the plea bargain, sir? Yes, sir. Counsel, is that your understanding as well? It is, Your Honor. Let me get out of share screen. Sir, I'm not bound by a plea bargain. I do not have to follow this. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. If I do follow a plea bargain, then you lose your right to appeal. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. And that's true unless I grant you permission to appeal or unless certain motions are filed and ruled upon. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, any such rulings in this case? No, sir. If I do not follow the plea bargain, I will allow you to withdraw the plea and we'll proceed to trials if this hearing never occurred. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I'll note again, one of your signatures on the plea bargain waives your appeal. Are you a citizen of the United States? I am. If not, then a plea of guilty or no contest to the offense, even the lesser included offense at count two, could have serious adverse effects on your immigration status. And I'll note that you certified on the court's admonishments that you are an American citizen. Counsel, do you believe that your client has a factual, rational understanding of the charge pending against him? He does, Your Honor. Do you believe he's been able to assist you in the defense? Yes, sir, he has. Do you believe he's mentally competent to waive rights and enter a plea here today? Mr. Armoud is mentally competent. Yes, Your Honor. Sir, to the offense listed at count two of your indictment, to the lesser included offense of assault, bodily injury of a family member or household member, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest, Your Honor. You understand that you can still be found guilty under a no contest plea? Yes, I understand. Other than the plea bargain, did anyone promise you anything in exchange for your plea today? No, sir. Did anyone force you or coerce you to plead today? Absolutely not. After going over this case with your attorney, do you believe that pleading here today is in your best interest? Yes, sir. Does the state have anything to offer to support the plea? State offers State's Exhibit 1 and all attachments. Respondent or defendant, sorry, juvenile court. <laughs> defendant has no objections, judge. It's admitted. I reviewed state's exhibit one and attachments prior to getting on the record and find that it is sufficient to support the plea. Sir, I find that your plea was freely, intelligently, and voluntarily made, that there was sufficient evidence to support the plea and that you're mentally competent Hi. to enter into such a plea. Well, I find you guilty, sir. That, Counsel, is there any legal reason able. as to why your client cannot be sentenced today? There is not, your honor. No legal reason. Of course, you agree with the state, sir. I sent you to one year in the Bear County Jail. I give you credit for time served. There'll be a $100 fine. The time and the money will run concurrent. There's an affirmative finding of family violence as well. Sir, this is a plea bargain case, and I follow the plea bargain. So you do not have the court's permission to appeal. You do not have the right to appeal. Also noting you waived your appeal in the plea bargain agreement, making a certification of this for the record. I'll provide a copy of the certification to your attorney to provide to you. Is there anything else from either side in regards to the plea or to the sentencing? No, sir. Nothing from the defense, your honor. All right, good luck to you, Mr. Hamoud. Thank you, sir. That concludes our